Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Inno Tire Hold 2 bike rack. We're going to take a look at how it fits on our 2023 Toyota Camry. So the Inno Tire Hold is going to be your dual wheel mount rack and just like the Toyota, this is going to be a Japanese company. So you're going to have some similar thought processes beside or with this bike rack. Now we have a two bike here that fits into an inch and a quarter hitch receiver, which is what we have on the Camry. If you do not already have a hitch, that is something you need to get first in order to carry this bike rack. Now some things you have to think about are how does it work with the vehicle. So the first feature is going to be that this tilts down. You have a handle at the end of the rack. You're going to pull the handle and let this drop down to a tilt. And that will give you a bit more space so that you can open up your trunk. So see how we have all this clearance now. If we wanted to switch out our shoes, we could do so. Grab our backpacks, grab our waters, all without having to take the bike off. Now to bring it back up, you just lift up on the rack. Snaps into place. If you no longer see the red indicator, then you are good to drive. Another thing about this bike rack is that it can carry your different types of bikes. So this is or has zero frame contact. We have this carbon fiber frame bike here. Looks great because there's nothing touching that finish. This also has a 60 pound per bike weight capacity for those extra heavy electric bikes. And it has a lot of versatility for your different types of wheel bases. So compared to some other bike racks, if you have different tire sizes where you have to make a lot of adjustments, this one has a very easy to adjust wheel mount that can fit those different tire sizes. Now for the wheelbase though, you are limited to a 48 inch wheelbase. So for your longer mountain bikes, that's something to be mindful of. When you wanna take your bike off though, different dual wheel mount racks do it differently. This one, you have this button here, and then that button disengages that mount. So I like to push out on the wheel mount from right there on the tray. That way, instead of having to move back and forth like I would with other racks, I just push out here, and this is gonna be the completely open position. I can now grab my bike and go for a ride. Now, if you look over there at those trays, the trays are nice because then you can adjust your bikes back and forth to get the best fit. But you do have to be mindful of the different bikes and their tire sizes. The minimum or the maximum tire size this can carry is gonna be up to three inches. Although you do have those nice grooves on the inside for those road bikes with thin wheels. Now for your fatter bikes that are over three inches, this will not work. And you may wanna look at other bike racks we have that can fit them. Your main thing is gonna be the inside diameter of that wheel mount. This folds down to be a lot more compact and a lot more neat. So let's take some measurements so we can compare it's folded out with it's folded up position. So I like to measure over at the bumper to the end of the rack right there this sits at 32 inches so that's a measurement to remember if you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot fortunately the camera doesn't take up that much space anyways so you have some room to work with another measurement is ground clearance bottom of the rack to the ground i have it at 17 inches and that's going to be if you go up steep inclines like driveways or hills but also if you are lifting 60 pound bikes you're lifting them up about 18 and a quarter inches to get onto this tray. So that is something to be mindful of. Fortunately, it's not that high, so it should help out. Compare that to where this base sits, and that's gonna be seven inches. So you have that slight rise to give you more clearance. Now, for more clearance, you can also fold this up to be more compact or neat. There's two options here. For the Camry, we can go all the way up to the most compact position, giving us a length of where we measured earlier to the end of the rack. It now sits at 15 inches, so 
big difference compared to earlier. You'll want it in this position if you're just driving around town, not planning on taking your bikes out just yet. Cool thing is that you can still open up your trunk, even in the folded up position. With it folded up like this though, notice how obviously our rear window is visible. Our tail lights are kind of covered if you look straight on and the backup camera is centered there above the license plate. So it's gonna sit right here. If that's gonna be a major issue for you, may, you may want to just drive around maybe in this slightly down position or even in the ready to load position, which will give you a lot more visibility through your backup camera. Those are gonna be options available to you though. We do have those measurements that we just mentioned to help you figure out if you're gonna lose any clearance with those positions. But all in all, this is a very popular bike rack. It's been around for a while. It has a dual wheel mount design that makes it super easy to load your bikes on and to take your bikes off. The downside though is that it fits into an inch and a quarter hitch receiver. And most of those inch and a quarter hitch receivers have a good amount of movement to them, no matter how tight you tighten down. Fortunately, this sits pretty tight because it has an anti-rattle mechanism. But if you need to make it even more secure, use a 13 millimeter socket wrench to tighten that down. If you need more weight capacity, check out the Saris MHS for inch and a quarter hitch receivers, which will have a similar design, but more weight capacity, but it's gonna be heavier than even this bike rack. But for something quick and easy to use, plus it looks sleek, this was a look at the Inno Tire Hold 2 bike platform rack, and you saw it on the 2023 Toyota Camry.